What's going on gamers? Happy Friday. In today's MLB The Show 22 video, I'm going to show you how you can make millions and millions of stubs, no money spent. But do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video. Let's get 30 to 50 likes on every single video for all these tips and tricks that I am giving you. Let's get into today's banger. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code FATDOLLARS for a deposit bonus up to 100 bucks. All you got to do is come in here, make $1 bets, $2 bets, $3 bets. It don't matter. Choose your players. Come over to the right, put the amount in. $1 bet, you have a chance to win $3 back. I will be giving you guys free picks. Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun. All right, so as you can see, I have an all-diamond team right now. And then I also have a 90 overall cap pitcher. So if you want to know how to make the best cap pitcher in MLB The Show 22, make sure you go check my previous video. So we are sitting at almost 150,000 stubs with an all-diamond team lineup i'm going to show you exactly the best methods to be able to get a lot of stubs a lot of free packs and get lucky and pull 50 to 150,000 cards out of okay so if you go over here to the shop and you go to my packs i have nine free packs so far using the same exact method but what you want to do is come down to collections and you want to do all the least expensive collections possible that gives you packs so this one right here you can see if you collect all of these you get five show packs and they are very easy and cheap to get so if you collect all of them we have 29 right now so you come down and you just put a buy order in one stub more than what they asking for so that is 84 stubs so you come right here to a buy order create buy order always do create and i will put 85 or 86 boom put that down eventually that order will sell through. And you would do that with each and every one of them that gives packs. This one doesn't give packs, so we're not worried about it. So we would come from stadiums to uniforms and you would do the same thing. As you can see, if you collect 60, in the top right corner, you can see that buy order already went through. You're gonna get stubs in return and you're gonna be buying these for the bare minimum. Plus, you're gonna be getting packs. So any duplicates that you have, if you click on the duplicates, you can sell these back for stubs. So I will go right here and I will sell this for 286. One lower, boom. 286. So we're going to get stubs back for completing it. We're going to get stubs off of any duplicates that you have. All these duplicates equal up to stubs. Okay. So all total, we have 59. We need one more to get to the 60. So the gold is gonna be the same way. Then you're gonna have the alternatives. This one doesn't give packs. The throwbacks, I already got the five packs from that. So you get six packs total for collecting 10. And then the throwbacks, you're gonna get six packs again for collecting 10. Okay, so that's a way for you to get free packs. You can get some glitchy pools out of them packs. You're gonna do that for the legends and flashbacks if you want to. You're gonna do that for the stadiums. You're gonna do that for the uniforms, and then you can also do it for the ball player. Make some easy stubs off of that. Now, I have a 90 overall cap pitcher. I gave you a full breakdown on how to do that. That's gonna help you get a lot of stubs. That's gonna speed up all the offline grind. The conquest is gonna be super easy. The mini seasons is gonna be super easy. You're gonna begin perks. You're gonna begin equipment. You're gonna begin XP to get all the 90 overall sellable players that you can resell on the market. Once the price drops, you can go back and buy them same players. So you go through here, anything that gives you packs or anything like that, you wanna take advantage of. So after you put in that buy order and you get the ones that you need, then you're gonna go ahead and collect them that's going to be another five pack bundle as you can see in the top right corner another buy order just went through so you get stubs for completing it you want to buy them for the cheapest amount always go one stub or two stubs at the most you're going to do the same thing for your roster investments i'm going to be bringing that video to you the cards that you're going to want to get that's going to make you a lot of profit at the roster update so you want to be subscribed to the channel now another way is the conquest come up in here to conquest and you want to go to the one the mystery map that's going to give you a five pack 
bundle and you can do this over and over and over this is my second run around now with this mystery conquest in your created picture you're going to be able to get this done super super fast this is my second time doing it you're going to be getting 20 to 25 packs every single hour give or take and you only have three strongholds so once you take a lead all you got to do is just bunt the rest of your players around it don't really matter about their batting average the key players that you want to parallel you can hit with them but with your cat picture you're going to be able to get two good innings out of them keep your opponent at zero points it's the same thing for many seasons it should work all the way up to all-star level your cat pitcher is going to be throwing 99 to 101 miles per hour it's going to be hard for the cpu to hit so this is going to get you a five pack bundle every 15 to 22 minutes so 5 10 15 20 packs every single hour and then you also can go through and do all the collections that gives you packs you're going to watch your stub count go up tremendously and if you get lucky drop a like on the video and you get some luck in your packs that's going to help you make another 100 to 150 thousand stubs so i just do the quick flip if it's a diamond it will be lit up at the end it will automatically take you to there so we don't have any diamonds out of these packs right now but for the roster updates all these have value because some of these cards might get that upgrade now that the beginning of the season is here now every one of these cards might not get you a diamond but some of these cards will get you some good golds just like this joey gallo who has a chance to get upgraded over the next few roster updates so right now he might be going for like 1,000, 1,200 stubs if he gets boosted up or if he gets the new super power thing around the logo that you've seen on Twitter, he will go up to about three to 4,000 stubs. So you got this card for free. That's going to be an easy way for you to make extra stubs. Also, you can go into the collections. As you can see, we are pulling a diamond. Let's see what our diamond is right now. It's a purple background, so it's under a 90 overall. But if we can get an 87 or an 88 overall, Aaron Judge, 89 overall, Aaron Judge, that's a good pull for free. These are free going into the stadiums, going into the uniforms. You get a chance to pull something glitchy. That's going to be an extra 18 to 19,000 stubs right there. Okay. So, boom, 25,000 stubs. I could probably put them up for 29 to 30,000 stubs. That's going to help with my stub count. That easy. You can go into Conquest for 15 to 20 minutes, or you can just go in there. Here's another 83. He has a chance to get upgraded. That's going to be a lot of stubs. You don't want to sell them for the price right now because in the next week and a half, that same price might inflate. They might have a real good game in real life, and the card that was 1,200, 1,300 stubs, as you seen yesterday, can go all the way up to 4,000 stubs. Some of the big cards on the roster screen you can go right here to exchanges and you can give yourself a chance to pull them. So silver players that are not worth anything, two golds. You can go in there and exchange some of these silver players, especially if you have duplicates, and then you're going to get packs with golds in them. That's going to give you a chance to pull some of them cards that are lit up for that 24 to 48 hours. Drop a thumbs up on the video. I will walk you through every way no money spent to go from zero to a million stubs i'll see y'all in the next one